Hey everyone, Dan here. Welcome back to our channel. Uh, today we thought it'd be a good idea to give you the step-by-step -step process of uh, selling your home. So if you're new to selling, it's the first time you sold a home, or if you haven't sold in a while, we're going to walk you through that step-by-step -step so you can kind of understand what to expect along the way. So the first step is to have an initial meeting with your realtor so they can do a needs analysis and help you establish a price for your home and you can sign a listing agreement. The second step is to prepare your home for sale and that includes things like staging, maybe thinning out some of the things you have lying around. Uh, we always recommend a professional cleaning and we always have a professional photographer come in and take photographs of the home so that we can show it in its best light. So the third step is we start our coming soon campaign. So we're going to start to get your home out there, uh, let people know it's coming, build up a little incite, excitement and anticipation that it's coming on the market. So step number five is to actually put your home on the market, uh, list it with several multiple listing services and do a uh, just listed campaign to get the word out there and let people know that your home is now available for sale and to build some excitement about it. So now that we've built some anticipation to let the world know that your home is uh, available for sale, we're gonna schedule your open house and schedule showings to get everybody who really wants to see your property an opportunity to do so. Next, we're going to have the open house and then we're going to receive offers and uh, multiple offers we hope. And if we do that, then what we'll do is we will break down those offers point by point and analyze them with you so that you know uh, not only which ones like the highest amount, but which ones have the best chance of getting to the closing table for you with as little stress as possible. And once you decide which buyer is right for you, then we're gonna negotiate that contract and any terms that we need to touch up and get ready to uh, sign a contract. Now, once you sign the contract, now we give the buyers generally about a week or 10 days to do the due diligence and have any inspections they'd like if they choose to do so. In this market, it's also a good time for you, and we'll remind you of this, and most realtors will, uh, to let your moving company know, get on their radar, let them know that you've put your house under contract and you know on this particular date, you're planning on moving uh, because they're very backed up right now. So now that the inspection's been done, uh, this is the opportunity for the buyer to maybe ask for um, some issues to be corrected or ask for maybe a, a discount because of some issues that came up but this is a point for us to negotiate that inspection process and, um, and decide how we're going to handle it and then either move forward or not so once the the inspection process has been negotiated and we've come to an agreement that we're all happy with now it's time to sign a purchase and sales agreement so really from the time of the initial offer we're all maybe two weeks at this point and a purchase and sale is just really tightening up the language of the contract. This is when we generally get the attorneys involved and let your attorney negotiate with the buyer's attorney on the language of the, of the purchase and sale. And we'll, we'll be discussing that along with you as we all work together to get a contract that's favorable for you. And once the purchase and sale is signed, then if the buyer is financing, their bank or their financing company will order an appraisal. They send out an uh, independent appraiser to evaluate the property to make sure that they're not overpaying for the property. And around that time too, you're gonna know that you'll have a uh, mortgage contingency if they're financing. So that's one last chance for them to make sure that they can get financing for your home and uh, you know move the process forward. So at this point, about 10 days to two weeks prior to closing, uh, it's important to then schedule your things like smoke inspections to make sure your smoke uh, detectors and your CO2 detectors are in good working order and up to code. Um, water quality tests. In many towns, if you have a well on Cape Cod, you have to have a water quality test to make sure that uh, the flow of the water is good and that the quality of the water meets uh, the state guidelines. Um, and then uh, any other 
you know, small inspections that may be needed. Uh, you have to have your septic inspected, of course, if you have a septic system to make sure that's up to snuff as well. Around the same time as those inspections, you're going to want to contact your utilities uh, for if you have uh, final payments due, uh, you know, get final tax payoffs, things like that, and then transfer the utilities out of your name and into the new buyer's name. And then we're almost there. But, uh, just prior to closing, generally the morning of or the day before, the buyer uh, generally has the right to do a final walkthrough. And that's just to make sure that the home is in the, uh, the condition that they expected it to be in and that you agreed it would be in. Uh, so at that point, you, you need to have everything all finished up and any repairs done as uh, agreed upon and have the place clean and ready to go. And last, it's everybody's favorite, it's closing day. Uh, get to the table, get your paperwork signed with your attorney, uh, the buyers will get theirs signed. In this day and age, we don't generally all sit at a table together uh, because of COVID. But uh, it is, uh, you know, this is what you've worked hard for. Uh, once that property is on record and you get your check, you get to go off on the next, uh, next phase of your life or your next adventure. I hope you found this helpful, and we look forward to seeing you for next week's video. Take care. Timelines are... I don't know why I say that, but uh, I'll say do a walkthrough of your room. The f <laughs> the room. About your needs. <laughs> so, hi. Comes up through his ear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs>